Hey, taking a go over my NES collection, you can kind of see it behind me there. I have roughly 60 or 70 games. I'm just going to do a quick review of each one and just tell you why I like them. The reason I like NES in general is because it was really my first console. I was born in 1980, so I was like six or seven years old when I first played the NES. And before the NES, the only thing I had played was the Atari 2600, and the NES just completely blew that out of the water, and it, it made me fall in love with video games ever since. So let's take a look at all my games. All right, so I'm going to show these in alphabetical order except for the last 20. I'm saving my favorites till the end, so I'm saving the best for last. So let's start with the first one, 1943. It's a shooter from Capcom. It's kind of overhead, like bottom to top shooter, and you're in an airplane and you're shooting the other airplanes. Abadox is another shooter, but it's left to right. It takes place on an alien planet, and the enemies all look like aliens and stuff. Adventure Island 2 is a sequel to Adventure Island, which is one of my favorite games on the NES. And this one, um, it has like a few upgraded things, like more enemies and stuff. And there's actually three Adventure Islands. Here's the third one on the NES. But in Japan, they got actually got a fourth Adventure Island. But three is really cool too. You see, you have like these new characters you can ride in Adventure Island 3. It's kind of like a Mario clone made by Hudson Soft. Adventures of Lolo is a fun puzzle game. It's uh, kind of like an overhead view and you go around and you collect the key and you move things around and then you make it to the next level and the levels get progressively diff more difficult as you go. Baseball Stars is my second favorite baseball game on the NES and it's from SNK. It's a pretty cool game. There's a lot of baseball games on the NES by the way. Batman is actually a game I didn't discover, discover until more recently. I, didn't, I never really knew about it as a, as a kid, and I played it recently. I was like, damn, this game's awesome. I wish I did know about it as a kid. It's just basically a side-scrolling game um, by Sunsoft, and you just go around and you like kill all the bad guys. Gotham City. Blades of Steel is a cool hockey game from Konami. It's actually my second favorite hockey game on the NES, my first being ice hockey. And uh, this is cool because it, like, when it starts off, it's like, Blades of Steel. There's like some speech in it, but the graphics are really good. It's a really fun uh, hot ice hockey game. Blaster Master is a fun side-scrolling action type game. You, the story goes like you lose your frog and uh, you have to go underground to find him and then you make it to this other whole world and you, you shoot your way through it and there's all these uh, radioactive bosses throughout the different levels. Bomberman is kind of like a puzzle game. It's kind of like a party game. Uh, it's really good if you have multiplayer and you basically you shoot off these bombs and then you, you try to blow up your, the enemies w with these bombs and you, there's walls and stuff that you gotta blow up but if you get hit with the bomb you die. Bionic Command is a side scroller from Capcom and it's about this guy he has like this rope that shoots out of his arm and he can grab it like hooks onto things and you can fly around the screen that way. Bubble Bobble is a game from Taito that's kind of like a action game. Um, you progress through stages. I think there's like 150 stages in this game, and you have these bubbles that you shoot off to shoot to the enemies. Get in, stuck in these bubbles, and then you have to jump on the bubbles, and it kills your enemies. Castlevania 2: Simon's Quest is a fun Castlevania game, but it's not as good as the first and the third one. I like this one the least out of all three of them, because this one has like some RPG elements to it that I'm not really a big fan of. Commando is a war game. It's an overhead view, and you're going up, on, like you're going up towards the top of the screen, and you're shooting and throwing grenades at all the bad guys. Donkey Kong Classics is actually two games in one. It includes Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Jr. And my favorite of the two is Donkey Kong the original, but Donkey Kong Jr. is fun to play once in a while too. Double Dribble is a fun basketball game on the NES. And there's not a lot of good basketball games I like for the NES, but this one's actually pretty cool. Dr. Mario is kind of like Nintendo's answer to Tetris. Um, it's similar to Tetris, but you see you have to line up these colors instead of lining the pieces up to, get, uh, to make them go away. Dusty Diamond's All-Star Softball is my actually my favorite baseball game on the NES, and I know it's a softball, but I would say baseball anyway. 
Uh, it's cool because you could choose between like 30 different players and they all have different statistics. Like some of them are faster and some of them are stronger. And the, the fields that you could choose from are really fun. Eliminator Boat, Boat Duel is a game I first played a ROM of and I was like, this is a pretty sweet game. So I decided to buy it. Uh, it's kind of like there's this, there's two views in the game. There's like a behind the boat view and then as you progress through the stage, there's... No, actually it starts as an overhead view and then as you progress through the stage, there's a behind the boat view. And like you can try to like crash into your opponent to make them slow down and stuff. Friday the 13th is a cool game. I mean, it's not an amazing game. I mostly just got it because it's Friday the 13th and the cover looks awesome. Uh, I do have some fun with it, like when you go around the side-scrolling aspects of it and, sh and you're killing all the bad guys, but whenever I go into the houses, it gets kind of difficult to navigate around. Gauntlet's a cool game. It's kind of like it takes place in a medieval time, and you go around and you have to get like the key, and um, you have to kill all these ghosts and ghouls that come out of these, these, um, these boxes. And then you make your way through the levels, and there's a whole there's a ton of levels as you progress through the game. Golf is an okay game. It's kind of difficult to play golf on the NES because it's really difficult to like aim the ball and and shoot it. So it's it's okay. I play it once in a while, but it's not the best golf game in the world. The Guardian Legend is pretty cool. It's like overhead shooter game, but then it also turns into a game where you're on the ground and you're shooting all the bad guys and you're making your way through the levels with different puzzles and stuff. The graphics are actually really good in that game. Gradius is a fun shooter. It's like left to right side scrolling shooter. And there's just different enemies that come on the screen and you shoot them and you get power ups and stuff. This game is really difficult, but it's still fun. I don't think I've ever made it past the second level, but I really like the artwork. And it's Capcom. I love Capcom games. The Goonies 2. I'm a huge Goonies fan. And this isn't exactly what I'd hoped for out of a Goonies game. But it's still pretty cool. It's like it's a Konami game, so it's well made. And you just go through the different levels. It's side-scrolling. And you can collect the key and make it to the different part of the level and stuff like that. Galaga is actually one of my favorite arcade games, and the NES port is pretty cool. It's a, it's a shooter game, and the, these enemies come up from the top of the screen and make their way down, and then you try to shoot them all. Guerrilla War is a fun um, war game by SNK. SNK made some decent games on the NES. It's kind of like an overhead view game. It's similar to Commando. Gyrus is an interesting game. It's a shooter, but it's kind of like you're going around in a circle and you're shooting all the things in the center. So it's the, the perspective is a little bit different than what you're probably used to. But it's, yeah, it's a fun game. And this is my first favorite ice hockey game on the NES, just regular ice hockey. It was actually a really early release by Nintendo. And you, you could choose from like uh, three different types of players in the game. One, one guy is fat, one guy is thin, and one guy is like average. And they, and they all have their strengths and weaknesses. Akari Warrior is another war game, and it's overhead type game, and you're shooting all the bad guys. You have grenades and you have guns. The first part of the game is really cool. It's like your plane crashes in the jungle, and you just have to shoot all these bad guys. Iron Tank is a fun game by SNK. It's um, it's kind of like you're in a tank and you go around and you shoot you shoot all the bad guys with your missile with your missiles and your bullets and stuff. And Jackal's another one that's similar to Iron Tank. Uh, it's, I actually like Jackal a little bit better. Karnov is a pretty sweet game. It's like you go through the different levels and you have this one character, but this character can gain special power-ups as he progresses through the levels. I'm going to move this out of the way because it's running out of room here. Kid Icarus is an awesome game. It's, uh, it's kind of similar to Metroid in a way. Um, you just progress through the stage 
progress to the different levels and some of them are side scrolling some of them are like vertical and you have like this little it's this little character he has like a like a bow and arrow type um, weapon Kirby's adventure is awesome it's about Kirby he's like this pink character he's like a he's circular and he can suck in enemies and then when he push down after you suck them in he has the ability to take over whatever the enemy was able to do so if like the enemy could like shoot a sword or like swing a sword then Kirby would be able to swing a sword Night's Night is an interesting game. It's kind of like an overhead shooter type game, um, but it, it doesn't look like you'd think. Like when you look at the the cover, it's looks it's actually a different game than than what you expect it to be. But if you look at the cover, that's actually some pretty sweet artwork. Life Force is an awesome shooter by Konami. You could use the Konami code on it too. It's great multiplayer. It's like you use like the the enemies you're you're fighting all have like special abilities and stuff. And they all kind of resemble like different life forces, like heart beating and veins and stuff like that. Legendary Wings is a fun game. It was originally an arcade game by Capcom, but they ported it onto the NES. And it's a shooter. It's like overhead, and then you go, you shoot up, and you're like, this is about this guy who has wings, and he's just shooting all the bad guys. Legacy of the Wizards is a fun game that I didn't actually discover until more recently. Um, it's kind of like an RPG in a way, but it's also kind of like an action adventure similar to, I'd say, kind of like Zelda. And you just go around from screen to screen and you just make your way through and you like shoot the, ba you, uh, you shoot the bad guys and stuff like that. Little Nemo the Dream Master is a pretty cool game. Um, I think it's a little overrated, but it's basically about this guy who has a dream and then like in his dream he's... He's fighting all the bad guys. It's a side-scroller game, and uh, it's a little difficult, actually. Let me just spend more time with that one. Marble Madness is fun, but it's kind of short. I think there's only like five levels or something, and basically you just control this marble as you make your way through the different levels. Metroid is one of my favorite games, but I actually have two copies of it. So this is my second copy, the yellow version, and I'll show you my other copy, the gray version, at the end. I just have the second copy because I got it at a yard sale and I thought the artwork looked really cool. Mickey Mouse Capades is actually a pretty kind of an underrated game in my opinion. It's kind of like a side-scrolling game and uh, you make your way through like this fun house and you have to go through this other level. There's like waterfalls and stuff and you just control Mickey Mouse and then Minnie follows you. So you have to like whatever you, when you jump then she'll jump right after you. NES Open is Probably my favorite golf game on the NES with golf being my second one. This one is just kind of like an upgraded version of that. It has better features, better graphics and stuff. Operation Wolf is actually kind of underrated in my opinion. It's a fun game. Um, it's like a, sh it's a shooter type game where you shoot all the bad guys, but it's like you see the crosshairs on the screen and you just sh you shoot the bad guys. And I think you could use your zapper too, but I usually just end up using my, my controller pad. POW or Prisoner of War is a fun, I believe it's a side-scrolling game. I haven't played this one in a little while, but um, it's uh, this one's also a little difficult, but it's just, you know, you're prisoners of war and you have guns and stuff, you're shooting all the bad guys. Paperboy is a pretty cool game. It's like you're, you're a paperboy and you shoot the newspapers into the mailboxes of the houses you need to, to throw them at, but then you're not supposed to throw them at the wrong houses, but there's all these people that get in your way, like, you know, people that are like delivery people for their houses or people that are, live there and they come out of their house, they throw, new, they throw crap at you, stuff like that. Pinball is just a really basic pinball game for the NES, but it's still pretty cool. Pinbot is another uh, pinball game on the NES, but it's a little bit more advanced than regular pinball. And there's like a little bit of, uh, there's some voice samples in this game, I think. When you first start it up, it says something. I can't remember what it says. But the graphics are a little bit updated, updated over the regular pinball game. RC Program is a fun racing game by Rare. And it's kind of like an overhead type view. And you just go around the tracks and you can get weapons and stuff and upgrade your speed and upgrade your engine and stuff like that. Let's move these over a little bit. 